Chapter 9, Mishnah 1. This Mishnah discusses the law where a liquid unfit for Mechatas fell into a jar in which Mechatas was being stored. In this case, there was a jar containing valid Mechatas and the smallest amount of water that is not fit for Mechatas fell into it. The problem is that if the Mechatas in this jar is now used to sprinkle on a Tame, the water that is sprinkled might be the small amount of unfit water that fell in. What is the law? Rabbi Eliezer says he can use the mechatas in the jar if he sprinkles two sprinklings on the tame. In that way, one of the two sprinklings definitely contains enough valid mechatas to purify the tame. But the sages rule that all the mechatas in the jar is unfit. Another case of unfit water falling into the mechatas. If the jar of mechatas was left uncovered and some dew fell into it, Rabbi Eliezer says that he should take the open jar and leave it in the sun and the dew that fell into it will go up. But the sages ruled that all the mechatas in the jar is unfit. The Mishnah ruled that mechatas that mixed with unfit liquid cannot be used. Even Rabbi Eliezer agrees that it cannot be used in the normal way, but only if it is sprinkled twice. The Mishnah now discusses how the jar can be reused for a fresh batch of perfectly valid mechatas. If one of the seven liquids, such as water or dew, or if fruit juices fell into the jar, making the mechatas inside unfit, as we learned in the first part of the Mishnah, and the person wishes to reuse the jar for a fresh batch of mechatas. How does he make sure that there is no unfit liquid left in the jar that would mix with and once again disqualify the new mechatas that is poured in? He pours out whatever is in the jar, and he then has to dry the jar to make sure that there are no drops of the unfit liquid left in the jar. Only then can he fill the jar with new mechatas. But if ink or gum arabic or ferrous sulfite fell into the jar of mechatas, or any other thing that leaves a mark, then he pours out whatever is in the jar, but he does not have to dry the jar to make sure that there is no residue of the unfit liquid left in the jar. Rather, he can check the jar visually. If any of these staining liquids are left, he will see colored droplets. If he sees only clear droplets in the jar, he knows that they are only from the original mechatas, and so they will not disqualify the new mechatas that is added to the jar.